Hello viewers, a warm welcome to all. Myself, Maithili, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women. My topic is insurance. Let me discuss about life, marine and fire insurance. Content, risk coverage of life insurance, risk coverage of marine insurance, risk coverage of fire insurance. And I'll discuss about types of life insurance, marine insurance and fire insurance. Risk coverage in fire insurance. Dwelling coverage. This is the basic coverage for the structure of the insured property, such as the house or building. It includes the cost to repair or rebuild the structure in case of damage or destruction by fire. Second one, personal property coverage. This coverage extends to the contents inside the insured property, such as furniture, appliances, clothing and other personal belongings. If these items are damaged or destroyed by fire, the policy may provide reimbursement. Third one, additional structure coverage. Some fire insurance policies also cover other structure on the property, such as detached carriage sheds or fences. Laws of use coverage. If the insured property becomes uninhabitable due to fire damage, Laws of use coverage may provide funds for temporary living arrangements such as hotel expenses, rent or other accommodations. Fifth one, personal liability coverage. This coverage protects the policyholder in case they are found legally responsible for injuries or property damages to other as a result of fire on the insured property. Sixth one, medical payment coverage. This coverage may pay for medical expenses incurred by individual who are injured on the insured property as a result of a fire regardless of who is at fault. Next, I will see about risk coverage in life insurance. First one, a death benefit. This is a core component of life insurance a risk coverage. The death benefit is the amount of money that the insurance company pays to the designated beneficiaries upon the death of the insured. The beneficiaries receives this lump sum payment tax free and can be used for various purposes such as covering funeral expenses, paying off debts or providing financial supports for dependents. Second one, policy term. Life insurance policy can be term life or permanent life. Term life insurance provide coverage for a specified period such as 10, 20, 30 years. If the insured dies during the term, the death benefit is paid. Permanent life insurance has whole life or universal life provide coverage for the entire lifetime of the insured and includes a cash value components. Third one, cash value. Permanent life insurance policy accumulate a cash value over time which can be accessed by the policy holder during their lifetime. Fourth one, riders. Policy holder can enhance their life insurance coverage by adding optional features known as riders. The riders provide additional benefits or coverage behind the standard policy terms. Common riders include Accidental death benefit riders, waivers of premium riders and critical illness riders. Fifth one, suicide exclusion. Most life insurance policy have a should suicide classes that limits or excludes coverage for death by suicide within a specified period after the policy is issued. Typically the first two years. Next, risk coverage in marine insurance. Hull insurance. This type of coverage applies to the physical damage or loss of the vessel itself. It protects against perils such as sinking, collision, fire and other risks that can cause damage or loss to the ship. Second one, cargo insurance. Cargo insurance covers the loss or damage to the goods being transported by sea. This can include damage from perils such as sinking, fire, theft and rough handling. Cargo insurance is a crucial for business involved in international trade 
to protect against financial loss due to damage or lost shipments next one freight insurance freight insurance also known as freight interest insurance cover the financial interest of the insured in the cargo safe delivery if the cargo is damaged or lost the insurance compensate the insured for the loss of the freight charges liability charges marine insurance may include liability coverage which protect the insured against third party claims for bodily injury property damage or other liabilities arising from the insured marine time operations general average and salvage charge marine insurance may cover general average and salvage charges general average refers to the practice of sharing the loss incurred during an emergency situation such as jettisoning cargo to save the ship salvage charges or the cost associated with rescuing vessels from perils sixth one war and strikes risk some marine insurance policy offer coverage for risk related to war strike and other civil disturbance that may impact the safety of the vessels and its cargo next we will discuss about types of insurance term life insurance provide coverage for specified term 10 20 to 30 years pay death benefit and typically more affordable than permanent life insurance second one whole life insurance third one universal life insurance and fourth one variable life insurance and variable universal life insurance combine the feature of universal and variable life insurance next we'll see about types of marine insurance that is hull insurance cargo insurance freight insurance liability coverage and war risk insurance next types of fire insurance basic fire insurance extended coverage insurance comprehensive fire insurance thank you